How do we bend a kick in conduit? Now the kick, the reason that we would use that is say we have an extra obstacle. So say we need to 90 and we need to change elevation. So to get over this, we wouldn't be able to put straps all on the bottom side of this and do this and our pipe would look crooked as hell. So what we have to do is we either have two options. We can try to bend an offset right here and get over it, but then you've got a bend and immediate bend and another bend. That's gonna be so hard to do that on this bender. So the better way to do it is do what we call a kick. And you can come back here and just bend this up and it's gonna raise the whole thing up and it's just gonna kick it. Now, I wanna give a big shout out to Pen Aluminum. Thank you so much, Pen, for sending me all of this aluminum conduit and for sponsoring this video. Um, so the benefits of working with aluminum conduit, A, it's way lighter, so like you wouldn't believe how much like a big stack of conduit that you can lift up when it's aluminum, it's so much lighter. Um, a lot easier to bend too, so like if you're used to bending like one inch, inch and a quarter, inch and a half conduit, um, be, uh, being able to bend aluminum versus like really like struggling with steel. Um, so the benefit, you know, is obviously it's lighter, but, but being able to bend it is such a huge thing. There's even this coating that they can put on the inside of the conduit that's called blue lightning. It's sort of like a Teflon coating, um, but it essentially makes pulling a lot easier on the inside of conduit. A lot of times when you're using aluminum conduit, it, it kind of catches more than the steel does. So it's a little bit more difficult to pull wire through sometimes, but with a coating like this, it comes through with a breeze. And the cost of aluminum versus the cost of steel, you're always gonna pay less with aluminum than you are with steel. So just kind of across the board, it makes sense to be using aluminum conduit. If you're interested in finding out more about pen aluminum or looking into their aluminum conduit, check the link in the description below. So a kick is like a lot easier thing to do when you're out in the field um, and you're running across obstacles. Um, plus it's a lot easier for you to make a kick back here and just have this one little bend um, and then go through your 90. That's only 90 plus 30, that's 120 degrees worth of bend. Whereas if you came over here and did two 30 degree bends, that's 90 plus 60, so you have 180 degrees of bend. Um, and the, the more bend that you have, the more drag you're gonna have. So when you're running anything through onto it, it's gonna be harder the more bends you have. So this is a way to reduce the bends and just make your life easier. Now I'm gonna come, it doesn't even matter like where, where I come to. Um, I could come way back here if I wanted to. Um, or I could go close. Usually I like to try to stick somewhat close. And uh, the other thing you'll notice, this conduit's crooked. So it's touching over there, but it's not touching over there. If I bend it like that, the whole thing when it bends up is gonna bend up in that same crooked um, kind of way over there. So usually what I do <clears throat> is I take a lineman's pliers because the thickness of whatever the bottom of the shoe of the bender is, is usually a good match for over here. So I'll take and put this underneath it. That way I know when I line this up that that is going to be level. And so once I start applying pressure here, that's not gonna move at all. It's gonna stay exactly where I want it. And I know that I have a two and a quarter obstacle that I'm trying to get over. So I actually use my tape measure when I do kicks and I run it down right next to the conduit and I start pulling up. And I'm trying to get the bottom of my conduit to be at two and a quarter. Now, I also know that there's a certain point where this shoe is gonna be in the way. If I were doing a really large offset, the bottom of this conduit would be sitting completely flush on the ground. But right now I've got this shoe that's in my way. So when I do a two and a quarter kick, I'm kind of aiming for like two and three quarters. Because once I pull this out, now it's sitting flush, so my measurement's actually slightly lower. And right there, we've got two and a quarter. So I know now that I can clear this obstacle. I still have all of this touching the bottom, so I can put my straps on the wall. I kicked up nice and clean, and I'm going over that obstacle. Now the other way of going about this, like I said, you could still do the offsets if you wanted to. Say you needed like a four-point saddle. Well, if I needed a four-point saddle to go over that object, I wouldn't want all of this conduit just free airing like this. You can, kind of depends. Like if you're way up in a ceiling 30 feet in the air and it's a painted black ceiling, <laughs> no one's gonna notice anything. So that might be okay. But if I was trying to just clear this obstacle, I would have still just kept my 90 on the ground. And in that case, I would have bent a four-point saddle to get over the object and 
uh, just not done a kick, but a kick is a nice way if you can get away with it and you don't have anything aesthetically, any reason why you can't have this much going over there. Or if your obstacle's like right here, you know, it's super close by and then you need to offset back down. There's a ton, ton of reasons behind a kick, um, but kicks are really handy. They save you a lot of time and uh, a lot of effort as well. So kick, right, it, it's super simple. It's really just a matter of figuring out what you're trying to clear. Um, these are awesome because a lot of times you get into a situation where you think you need to do two 90s, but you can really just kind of, instead of having to do like a full offset or a whole other 90, you can, uh, you can honestly get to the same thing by just doing a kick. So understanding when to use kicks and how to use them is a super awesome trick to have out in the field. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you crazies. I'll see you in the next one.